Hi everyone and welcome to Asta's Place. I've had lots and lots of requests from people asking where I get my inspiration from because some of you think that it's really interesting where I troll up ideas. But I get lots and lots of magazines and I go through every magazine looking for interesting little things. Now for instance this, I got this out of a magazine and Bianca Loren, your um, fine linen looks absolutely fantastic but guess what? I loved what was happening here with the back of the pictures and I thought well this could be really nice put onto flowers put onto canvas to go behind my bed so that is what we're going to do today and to show you one of the finished ones this is it how fantastic is that really really easy to do so I'll show you what you need and then we'll come back to that because I've got about six or seven of those that I want to do to put right across the back of my bedroom wall or you might like to put them into a lounge now I'm going to go white on white because I want to see it and I don't want it to be too much in my face so I've decided to on a big canvas any size canvas would do just depending on what you've got I've got some lovely lettering here which will be fantastic because I want to put words onto it so they're going to be like sort of old-fashioned botanical but bringing it botanical sort of prints or drawings but I'm using the flowers to give it that 3d effect now for this one I'm going to use roses so I've got a nice selection of roses now you'll also need the hot glue gun or you could use the the Mod Podge Mod Podge much much better but I haven't got time I want it instantly right now plus if you're using the Mod Podge you'll need a paintbrush okay to begin it's just like doing a collage and a montage of all these beautiful forms and bringing them together but the secret is in getting everything onto the canvas so that it's balanced or visually pleasing to you so I'm going to put that there and where the roses are starting to come off I'll just lift those off and you're probably best to just sort of like go through and just sort of like lay them out in a pattern that will suit you uh, which I think I might just do right now so that I just know exactly where I'm at I don't want all of these leaves so I'll take some of those off and I'll refix those onto my canvas as I go so I'm going to put so this is one variety of roses I've got another variety of roses here plus I've got oh, I've got one of those so I'm going to put that into the yeah, I don't want all of those leaves put take that off there and I don't want that one either so I'm going to cut that off and then I've got this lovely variety of rose so I thought I would just put that there now you could have them placed so that they go off the edge of the frame but I actually prefer the thought that they're with contained within the frame so I've got one there put another one there and then maybe I'll put one there right once you're happy with which way you're going just transfer those to one side and then getting your hot glue gun because as I said I'm in a real no, I'm not really in a hurry but I'd like these why is my glue gun not going oh goodness me okay so we're going to have to use the Mod Podge but as I said using the hot glue gun would be much much better so it's just and if you wanted to you could paint the outside of your frame the the um, surface of your frame but for today this will be fine so you don't need too much glue and the thing is that if I was using the um, hot glue gun I could just whiz along here but the secret is that you do not want to be seeing any of the glue so that can go down onto there like that and then you may even find that you need to put a little bit of weight on that to keep it in place right once that's there go to your next one Ooh. careful be careful Put a little bit of blob of glue onto there, plus some onto your leaves, and then a little bit onto the fr onto the stem. Just little bits to hold. It won't need much because once this dry dries, it'll be fantastic. And the great thing about the Mod Podge is that it does dry nice and clear. So as these are moving, if you do find that they are moving, you know what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to put a weight onto that, and then you just keep going until the whole thing is done. So let's just imagine that we've done that because I know that you all know what I'm talking about so that's going to go there so I'll glue that on in just a minute and then getting your letters and just down the bottom here I'm just going you could identify each of your roses if you wanted to but this will be fine for me and then put the rose on there and I need an S where is an S here's a big S these self sticking letters are so fantastic and if you think your eyes not straight just use a little ruler and put a line through there so that it is all in place and then that one to there and once that dries with this here and 
with this, I think that these are going to look fantastic. Now the other thing that I did was to just add a bit more stability, just glue a leaf over the stem to make sure that it holds in place. Easy, easy, easy way of designing. These will look fantastic in any environment, but I think they'll look nice above my bed. So I hope that this has been a little bit of an inspiration, three-dimensional floral art for a wall. Thanks for watching, I'll see you another day. Thank you.